Guys, I already started filming this video and then I realized I was using the wrong camera lens. Anyway, now we're back. <laughs> Hey to your stars, welcome or welcome back to the star family. In today's video, I want to continue my kind of little mini series about pretty privilege. And now today's topic, we're going to be talking about body shaming and plastic surgery. And today's video is no shade to Doja Cat. I love her so much. Um, but today, I mean, like 21 hours ago, as the filming of this video, these photos were posted. And a lot of people in the comment section have accused her of photoshopping and just basically having so much to say about her body, right? So now, of course, even I noticed the the proportion a difference however it does not give me a right to go and type in this woman's comments talking about your waist is too small this just proves like you can please everybody like literally as far as appearance particularly for like black women because that's my experience you can please anyone you can be too skinny too fat but you're never just perfect for anyone because some people have an issue with with Meg the Stallion and her natural body. I don't think the beauty standard is standard. I think that it fluctuates a lot. So I, I don't think that it's very responsible for all these young girls that are 18, 19, 20, 21 even that are getting these BBLs. And when it's honestly right now, it's a trend. It's absolutely a trend. And if you, if you know anything about anything, y'all, on TikTok, trends come and go. What's going to happen to you when having a big butt is not the trend anymore and people want girls with flat asses or flat asses are celebrated again? What are you going to do? Go back under the knife? And a lot of people have risked so much money, emotional well-being for approval by men and women alike. And I just... I don't know how y'all gonna take this, but I don't know if you guys know K. Michelle. K. Michelle is a singer, and her her appearance her appearance has completely changed. What she looks like now is gorgeous. Like the surgeon did a very good job, but what she looked like before was also very beautiful. Now, I. I don't care if you agree or disagree. If you get plastic surgery, you don't love yourself. And I know there's this narrative that goes around that, oh, if you get plastic surgery, it's okay because if you can fix it, do it. That's a way to look at it. But in my personal opinion, my opinion, I think that it's some deep-rooted issues that you need to fix before you go under the knife. Because you know a little bit about plastic surgery you know that these women that keep going under the knife for example little kim once once you get something fixed you see something wrong and you want to go back again and again and again and and it almost becomes like an addiction you get addicted to finding what's wrong on your body and i know it's totally normal i have many things i don't like about my face many things i don't like about my overall appearance but I try to focus on the things that I can change. For example, I can change, I can change my glute size naturally through the gym and what I eat. I can manage my weight. I can gain weight or lose weight. Um, it's not the fastest route, but it's the safest route. And I just feel as though body dysmorphia is crazy. And if Doja Cat wanted to lose weight, so be it. I just hope she did it for herself and for health reasons and not because somebody, some troll on the internet was like, girl, you need to lose weight and da 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 Because it's hard. Being a girl is very hard and people don't understand that because you're trying to, especially a woman like her who's worldwide, everybody is criticizing you. Every country has their own standard and you know you try to appeal to everyone. It won't work. The whole BBL thing, like, girl, sit down. Like, sit down. Well, especially on TikTok, some people 
are very gullible and you see your favorite influencer doing it and you, you think that it's okay for you to do it, which it is, there's consequences for anything. Now, this video is not meant to be a long ass video, but to wrap up the video, I just also wanted to say there's this narrative that I've been seeing, especially on TikTok, talking about um, how white women are getting surgery to emulate ethnic features. Now, while that's a fact, according to me, <laughs> um, I think we have to dissect what exactly they're doing. Kylie Jenner does not look like a black girl. Kylie Jenner looks like a, a white girl with plastic surgery. They're, get, they're getting these features to emulate black women features, which are big lips and hips and body yaddy yaddy. And I don't think in their cognitive mind are they thinking I want to be black because I think people want to have something from the black culture or black woman but when it comes down to business and you actually have to live the black experience nobody wants that everybody's like ooh, <laughs> shies away from it and I think that that in itself is a bigger topic but I just wanted to come in here to say you know if you're a person that's on the internet talking about people's bodies you need to look within yourself because you don't love your body. If you're talking about how <laughs> Doja Cat has lost too much weight and she's too skinny, maybe if you look deeper within yourself, maybe you want to be skinny, but you haven't been able to achieve that. And if you're over here talking about this person is too big, maybe you wanted to gain weight, but you couldn't gain weight. So people a lot of times on the internet just project. And if you're a girl out there that's receiving hate or backlash for your body and stuff just just remember that people are always projecting how they feel their negative emotions and don't take anything personal don't take anything personal okay and that's really all i wanted to say today today's video is very short let me know what you guys think about body shaming plastic surgery bbls and anything of that nature um I have someone waiting for me outside, so maybe that's the reason I'm rushing. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and bye.